after 100 years of aviation history being written, aircraft technicians have kind of been forgotten, out of sight, out of mind. Well, the goal for the competition is to put this craft and profession right in front of the public's sight and mind to let them think and understand what our responsibilities are. I'm on a team with uh, five guys from DFW. Uh, we each come from different skill of, you know, skills in DFW. Um, we each volunteered the local, uh, you know, agreed to pay our entry fee, and we've came out uh, to, you know, compete and see how we do against everyone else. Last year we had nine teams enter. This year I've, I have 15. I have a category for commercial airlines for FAR one, Part 147 schools, and for the military. Our school sent a team last year. They really enjoyed it and thought that we could learn a lot just about the industry in general and getting to interact with other a and professionals in the industry. The skills that I've chosen here to be competed in, I'm trying to get as broad of a blanket of the responsibilities that we carry every day. Everything from the simple safety wiring to hardware identification to the technical avionics and electrical troubleshooting. And then everything else in between. We've got turbine engine troubleshooting. We've got composite damage inspection. The engine work, the flight control rigging, I'm real familiar with that. And some of it, uh, general, uh, is tire change. Hardware would be a little harder for me. I don't really have to deal with that. And some of the computer stuff. But it was well-rounded, you know. It helped in every aspect of what we do. We had a general idea of what all the events were going to be, and so we selected our specialty, our team members, based on what we thought we'd be doing here. We have an engine guy, we have an electrical guy. Anything that we're challenged with, we'd like to, we'd like to win, but uh, the best thing that we tell our guys when we come out is just do the best you can, and then uh, you know everybody else will make that determination on the, on the scores that we get. American Airlines has got four teams competing. Continental has two, and American Eagle has one. So uh, I'm very honored and proud to have these teams here representing the commercial category. It puts a little bit more light for other people to see exactly what we do. The majority of the events, except the turbine engines, are based on 20 minutes to complete. Once the technician is done, the judge for each event will record the time that they used out of the 20 minutes and then assess any penalties that they did in the form of minutes and then inform the technician what their final score is. Everybody goes real fast, but you don't know, hey, you made a mistake. Well, that's a two-minute pill. Indeed. So that's, that's the unknown in the whole thing here. Right now we're judging uh, two component removal and replacements on the uh, JT-8 engines, a hydraulic pump and a N1 TAC generator. And right now most of the teams are very close in times. It shows the professionalism of the mechanics that are down here during the, the skills competition. You just don't come across turbine engines of this size around the corner as you're walking down the block. So I'm very proud that American Airlines was able to donate these engines. But by the same token, Continental also provided a rigging event. And that's the whole concept about the AMT Society's skill competition. It's not about one particular company or individual. It's everybody in our society of aircraft maintenance. Coming in at first place with a score of four hours, 40 minutes and seven seconds. Aviation Institute of Maintenance, Team Atlanta. Aircraft mechanics are professionals. You're up flying at 35,000 feet, something doesn't work right, you don't just pull over the side of the road and say, well, fix it. So it's got to be fixed properly, it's got to be fixed safely. Coming in first place in the military category with a time of 4 hours, 25 minutes, and 51 seconds is Team McGuire. Pilots get all the glory because that's what you see them taking off, landing, stuff like that. I think this competition shows that there is some excitement on the mechanic side too. At first place, with a score of three hours, seven minutes, and two seconds, Continental Airlines Cleveland team. I merely use time as a tool to decide 
who is given a first, second, and third place award. In my eyes, everybody here deserves a first place award. Coming in third in the commercial category with a time of four hours, 25 minutes, and 37 seconds, American Airlines LaGuardia team. I'd like to give compliments of the Aircraft Tool Supply Company, Aircraft Cable Rigging Tool, and the two teams that had the fastest time in this event are American Airlines Team 514.